And Michigan lawmakers restored more than half of Governor Whitmer's veto vetoed funds from the state budget on Tuesday. But pure Michigan tourism still remains on the chopping block. 13 on your side's Kylie Ambu spoke with local tourist hotspots to hear how the budget cuts could affect them. As a small business, a tourism business, we really depend on other people to create the reason people come to Michigan. When Stephen and Deb Coster moved from Chicago back to their West Michigan roots. It was our chance to open a bed and breakfast, so we found this big Victorian house and we got all the paperwork organized. They founded the Parsonage Inn right inside the Heritage Hill District of Grand Rapids. It's a great place to work, live, do business. With tourism being a major portion of its revenue. People coming for multiple days, they want to see all the different exhibits all around the city, so they plan to come for a longer period, as opposed to business travelers who are here for just one or two nights. But with the fate of Pure Michigan, one of the largest funded marketing campaigns in the country stuck in limbo. Well, it could very much uh, hurt us in the long run if there's no longer that strong drumbeat of calling people to come to Michigan because it's such a great place to be. And it's not just them. The return on investment of this campaign is $9.36 per dollar spent. The West Michigan Tourist Association says effects of the budget cut will spill into areas outside of tourism. With the roads, with education, with jobs, we need this to go through. Legislators have gone back and forth with the budget. From 35 down to 31 million. And with 2020 approaching and the last of this year's Pure Michigan ads running on the airwaves. If that needs to be it, that needs to be it. We just need to get a budget going. Businesses are calling on lawmakers to find a solution. I certainly hope that the Pure Michigan program gets funded to some extent with, with tax dollars, but I also hope that the whole slate of things that Michigan needs get funded too. <laughs> In Grand Rapids, Kylie Ambu, 13 on your side.